In this video, I am going to explain to you the differences between the various customer user roles that we have pre-configured on the Live Puzzle system. The main difference between these customer user roles is the payment method they will be using to pay for the order. Now let's log in as an administrator to see what customer user roles we have pre-configured. Click people, permissions, and then roles. Let's scroll down to see the entire list. The first role is anonymous. It is the role that is attributed to users who come to your website but did not log in. The second role, authenticated user. This role refers to those users who have an account on your website and they have logged in to your website when they receive. The third user role is prepaid. This role refers to users who first put in money into their account and then they use the money on their account to pay for the services they order on your website. This is very similar to prepaid mobile SIM card. The fourth user role, cash. This user role refers to those users who pay cash when your courier driver pick up the parcel. The fifth user role, postpaid. This user role refers to those users who have a contract with the courier company and they will settle payment with the courier company on a regular basis. This is very similar to the postpaid mobile plans where the users pay the bill every month. The sixth user role, driver, this role refers to all your courier drivers. The seventh and the last role, administrator, this person obviously refers to the person who runs the back-end function of the courier company. If you need more user roles, you can obviously add more by typing the name here and click add role. In summary, only three of these roles in this list are meant for your customers to use, the rest are not. Now let's go and see where the payment methods are configured. Go to store, scroll down the page, click payment methods. This is where all the payment methods are configured. The first payment method we have enabled is free order. This payment method is used when the order value is zero. This means the user does not need to pay money, the order is free. The second payment method we have enabled is COD. COD stands for cash on delivery. By default, we have configured COD to appear when the user belongs to the role of cash or postpaid. The third payment method we have enabled is bank transfer. By default, we have configured bank transfer to appear when the user belongs to the role of prepaid. This bank transfer payment method is meant to be used for the prepaid customer to add money to their account. The fourth and the last payment method we have enabled is points. By default, the points payment method will appear when the user belongs to the role of prepaid. The points payment method is meant to be used when the prepaid customer place an order on the website. In other words, points payment method is the way the prepaid customer would use the money they have deposited onto the website to pay for the services they have ordered. Obviously, as the administrator, you can select the condition of any of the payment methods and you can change which role have access to this specific payment method. You are not restricted to the payment methods listed on this page. There are many other payment methods that our system can support. Let me show you the other payment methods we have installed but not enabled. Go to modules, scroll down all the way to Ubicard payment. Here you will find a number of payment methods that you might want to use to allow your customer to place an order and pay at the same time. For example, to check out authorize.net, Cybersource, and most importantly, PayPal, that everyone knows. To 
to enable any one of these payment methods all you need to do is select for example paypal go to the bottom and click save configuration then you would be able to find the payment method enable install payment methods and here you can see paypal and is here to actually enable and use the payment method you have to enable it here remember to click save configuration and set up the conditions that you want to use this payment method you should also check the settings of any of the new payment methods you're going to enable to make sure they are configured correctly for example for paypal you need to set up your paypal email address otherwise you would not get paid now let me show you how the payment methods looks like when you are using different user roles let's log out of here first let's see how the payment method looks like to a post paid customer we go to the quotation page Dimension, destination, check out. At the bottom of this check out page, you will see cash on delivery, which means COD for the postpay account. There's nothing for the user to select because there's only one payment method available. There's explanation text for the cash on delivery payment method here. And you can change this text in the EOD settings page I shown you earlier. If you use an account that belongs to the cash role to place an order, you will see exactly the same payment method we have here and the same explanation text. So you would ask what's the difference between postpaid and the cash account. You will see a difference after the order is placed. For the account having cash role, what happens is this system will automatically insert a note in the pickup notes here that the driver need to collect the fee in cash. This is the screen the driver will see after they scan the QR code. You can see the pickup notes is highlighted in red to remind the driver that they need to collect the cash. When the driver returns to the depot and hand over the cash to the company, the administrator need to record the payment against the order. Let me show you how the administrator can mark the order as paid. Log in as the administrator. Click live parcels. Click view orders. Select the orders you want to change the status to paid. Here we have selected two orders placed by the same customer who belong to the cash roll. After you have selected the orders, click set order status select completed don't select payment receive because if you select payment receive you won't be able to see the orders in the sales summary so select completed and click next click confirm and you can see the order status is updated to completed for both of these orders now let's go and take a look at the customer reports This customer report page will only show you orders that is marked as completed. That's why it's important that you mark the order as completed if you want this customer report page to work. Here we can see the cash one customer has placed two orders and the total value of these two orders is $14. In this sales report, only orders that is marked as completed will show up in here. And you see here we have two completed orders for this month and the total revenue is $14. That means the two orders from the cash one account we had just now. What I had shown you just now is how you can change the order status for orders placed by the cash customers. For orders that is placed by the postpaid customers, 
you will actually go through the same process to mark their orders to complete them after they have made payments for the orders they have placed. To invoice your postpaid customer, what you will do is go to Live Puzzles, Customers Puzzles. On this page, you will get a list of all the puzzles on your system. You can get a list of all the puzzles that is placed by your postpaid customer by filtering based on the roles, like you can select postpaid role and filter for all the puzzles that is placed by the postpaid customers. Normally you would have more than one postpaid customers. That's why you would need to enter the username of the postpaid customer here. So we can get a list of all the puzzles that is placed by one postpaid customer. You can also generate the list for orders between a specific date by using these filters. When you have found the list of puzzles you want to invoice your postpaid customer, you simply click the CSV button to download a CSV list of all the puzzles you see on the page. Using the CSV list, you can invoice your customer manually or using an accounting software. Live Puzzles offers a lot of flexibility in exporting information in CSV format. If you want into trouble in customizing your CSV export for invoicing, let us know and we will try to help you. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that prepaid users list to add money to their account first. Now let's look at how this is done. Let's get out of here and log in as a prepaid user. Once a prepaid user have logged in, they will see there's a catalog here for the prepaid credit. Click the prepaid credit. Add to cart. Each unit of this product is going to give us $1 credit. Let's say we want to put in $20. We will need to change the quantity to $20. Update the cart. And now we can check out to put in this $20 credit. When the prepaid customer purchase credits, the payment method provided will always be bank transfer. As an administrator, you can modify this information on the back end in the payment method settings. Now let's complete this order by agreeing to the terms and condition. Click review order and click submit order. Your prepaid customer will receive an email notification like this. This email notification will have the payment instructions. This is the same instruction that is shown on the trial page when they check out the order. The administrator will also receive an email notification that looks like this. We can see on this email notification that the customer have placed an order for the credits they want to put into their account. As an administrator, obviously you will only approve the credit top up to the prepaid account after the payment is received on your bank account. Once payment is received, this is how you will approve it as an administrator. Log in, go to Live Puzzles, View Orders, find the order you want to approve. You want to approve these two orders by the prepaid one account. Click set order status. Set the order status to completed. Confirm it. You can see the system tells you that the credit is being added to the prepaid one account. As the administrator, you can also check the credit transaction by going into live puzzles. user points and here you can see how many points of credit that the prepaid one user has if you go to the transactions you can see when the user was awarded those credits the user also has a similar facility on the account let's go and see how it looks like Once you have logged in, go to My Credits, and there you see the credit transaction history. 
and how much credit you have left. Now let me show you how the administrator can create different credit top-up options for the prepaid customer. Let's log out. Log in as the administrator. Go to store. Scroll down view products. This page shows all the products that we sell on the Live Puzzle website. And this is the only credit top-up option we have on the system right now. To add a new credit top-up option for the prepaid customer, you go to add content, click product, type in the name for this option you want your customers to see. Let's say 100 is equal to 110 credit. And the description we simply say, if you are a prepaid customer, each unit you buy is equal to $110 credit. And that means we are giving them 10% bonus to encourage them to put in $100 instead of other amounts. Scroll down the page. Make sure you select prepaid credit in the catalog option. Put in an SKU, say 100 points. Go further down. Put in the price the customer is paying. In this case, it will be $100. Untick this box because this product is not shippable and click save and continue. The last and the most important part in this process is to go to features, add credit, and type in how many credit points the customer is going to get when they purchase this product. Save feature. That's it. Now we can close this and log in as the prepaid account. And we can see this new credit option is now available for purchase if the person wants to 